Welcome back to Focus Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to show off some new features that will be available to you in the beginning of 2017. We have made a couple additions to the software that will make menu maintenance a little easier for everyone. So today we're going to go through three new features, the first one being the lasso from the Canvas Designer, uh, the second one being menu item search capabilities that we've added to the software, and then the third one is going to be the menu management and locations locations. Each of these features were designed to make it quicker and easier for you to manage your menus. So let's go ahead and get started. The first feature I mentioned is the lasso. So basically you go into menu uh, canvases. Actually you don't do that. <laughs> you go into either menu canvas designer or you can click the canvases button. I always get a little bit confused there. Um, but we've added the, the ability. You used to be able to like click on these buttons, right? And if you double click on it, it would populate the menu item database. Okay. And now what you can do, and that was um, probably the easiest way to find a menu item, right? You wanted to find your Bud Light or what have you. You go find your beer screen and then you find your menu item and you double click on it and then it would populate menu item canvas. So that was the easiest way to find a menu item. Now one cool thing you can do with the lasso is you can actually hold down your mouse and you see this little thing and basically I can just lasso these items and then when I unclick it's going to have all those items selected. You can see by the little black dots that designate that they've been selected. You could also, if I miss these up here, I could hit shift and I could select a couple more if I wanted to. And then what I can do now, now when I double click any of these, it's going to populate the menu item database with all of those items. Okay, so if I wanted to, you know, find a couple beers and change a price, like maybe I wanted to do Budweiser, Bud Select, you know, let's just say these four items, I can either select them by holding my shift button and clicking on them, or I can do my little lasso thing and select a couple of them. The shift button will allow you to select some that aren't easy to lasso. And then just double click on them. It's going to populate those six items in the window by themselves. So I could go ahead and say, oh, well, my happy hour price is actually $3 on that guy and $2 on that guy, $2 on that guy, $3 on that guy, $2 on that guy, $3 on that guy. Hit save and that's done. Okay, so pretty easy. A couple other quick things while I'm in here. As you can see, we've moved the price times to display right next to the price, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to know what prices are coordinating these with. Okay, so that's the lasso. Um, basically, whatever items you select, so I could go up to my fast food screen. I want to make a couple adjustments to my burgers. I can either use my shift button or I can lasso them. Double click, populates the menu item screen with just those items that were selected. Okay, so that's the first feature, pretty cool. Let's move on to the second feature, and I'm gonna get out of here. Now, in the past, like I mentioned earlier, the easiest way to find your taco salad was to just find it in the canvas and then double click it, and then you have access to your taco salad. Now, if I just go straight into my menu items, we have this new search functionality that you'll see at the top here. Okay, so this is a, used to be a little bit daunting to go try to find taco salad, right? Depending upon how big your database, if you're a pizza place especially, that was just like a nightmare. Okay, but now I can come up here in my little search box and I can type in taco, and there's my taco salad. Okay, I've got two of them. Figure out which one I want to use. So I can use my search box to search for anything. It's not case sensitive, so I can type in bud going to find Bud Light, Bud Select, Budweiser, etc. So pretty cool feature for you to be able to manage your menu. You can also sort this real easily by report group. Now my report, this is my demo, so my report groups aren't that great, but if I go ahead and select beer, look at that, boom, there's all my beers. Okay, if I want to reset it, it shows me all my items again. Now I want to do everything that's going to my bar printer. Like I said, this is my demo, it's not perfect. Let's go ahead and reset that. And you can filter down. So I can say, I want to have everything that's in my burgers report group that's going to my hot food. And you can see how we went from, I did burgers, and I had 13, 
but when I selected hot food, we went down to 11. So it continues to filter now, which is really cool. And then I could, if I still can't find it, I could type in chili. And now I see any items that are in my burgers report group going to the food printer that have CHI starting with them. So really cool little feature. You can reset it. You can apply this to your menu item filter so you no longer have to go in to find, to find your menu item filter and hit find like that. You can simply just click on your menu item filter, find your beers, and it finds your beers. Same thing with Canvas. You want to find all your items that are on a Canvas. You simply hit Fast Food, and it's going to populate all those items that are on your Fast Food screen. So this is a life-changing addition to the menu item database. It just makes it so much easier for you to manage your own database. Okay, so that's the second feature. And then the last feature I'm going to show you is menu management and location. So let's say you wanted to create a new screen for, you know, we have these burgers, and then we want a separate screen for gourmet burgers. Okay, so we create our canvas. Let's go down here to Canvas 10. And we create gourmet burgers. Make sure I spell that right, right? And then we'll go and put an image in here. Focus B, I think, is the one we use for the map. And it's going to be an item screen. Okay. So now I've got my screen, and I add some menu items on it. I'm not going to make this pretty. Uh, Let's just put our BLT on here and make it a black bar. Okay, let's just pretend I put like 20 gourmet burgers on the screen. And now I need to import this into my front of the house menu. Okay, so when you look at the front of the house, when you log in, we've got our menu here, right? We've got main dining, beverages, apps, salads, etc. right? All going across the top. Now these are positions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in locations locations so when I go into my location we've changed the way that you do your menu assignments so you can see here's my menu assignments that you were seeing horizontally listed vertically here okay main dining beverage app salad etc in the past these were like drop down selection boxes okay sort of like this right so if I wanted to change all day to you know if I had it like this, and I wanted to switch them. Let's just put a couple of these in here. If I wanted to insert something in slot one, I would have had to in the past gone, okay, well, I'm going to make this Wednesday, I'm going to make this early bird, I'm going to make this happy hour, I'm going to make this all day, and then up here I want to do late night. Okay, that's what you have, you used to have to do with your canvases. And let me get rid of these so I can demonstrate what we did. So over here on your menu, so I created our new little gourmet burger screen and I want that to be in the number two spot. Okay, so instead of having to move all these down to put something in the number two spot, I can simply highlight it and I can hit insert and it just inserts it in there and then drops everything else down. Okay, Pretty awesome. If you've ever done any menu management, you know that that is amazing. And then I'm thinking, well, I'd really like my pizza to be up top as well. So I can highlight my pizza, and I can just move it up, dropping everything else down. Okay, so we've made it so much easier for you to manage your menus and get them organized the way that best suits your establishment. Okay? So I hope that you like these features. I think that it will make it so much easier for you guys to manage your database. We covered the lasso, which allows you to quickly look at all certain set of menu items from a canvas in the menu item database. We have the new menu item search, which is amazing. If you go into your menu menu items, you've got your search capabilities up here at the top. And then we did our menu management and location. So you can be looking forward to those features being released in 2017. We hope you all have a great holiday season and a happy new year. And until next year, stay focused.